find the order of the differential equation of the family of all circles with their center side the origin so that means first of all we have to find out the equation of the family of all circles whose center is at origin and next whose center is at origin so that means first of all if the center of the circle is origin 0 comma 0 and r be the radius then equation of the circle is given by x square plus y square is equal to r square so that is called actually standard equation of the circle what is the standard equation of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square whose center is at origin having some radius say r or a so that means x square plus y square is equal to r square here arbitrary constant is r so that means here r has to be eliminated by eliminating one and only arbitrary constant that is r we get the differential equation so that means first of all the step one let us write the equation to the family of the circles with the center at origin having some radius r let us write it after that differentiate on both sides with respect to x so we shall get the eliminant that eliminant is known as required differential equation so let us solve it see suppose this is the circle so one of the family of the circles consider center o say 0 comma 0 take any point on this circle say p join this one this radius say r this point is x comma y we know x square plus y square is equal to r square so now equation of the family family of all circles all circles with their with their centers at the origin at the origin is can be taken as x square plus y square is equal to r square say equation 1 this is so now x square plus y square is equal to r square here how many arbitrary constants are there only one r so differentiate both sides with respect to x so one thing i would like to share with you so if you want to actually change the notations of the derivatives or differential coefficients you can change it so that means instead of dy by dx you can use y1 or y dash or capital d like that suppose d2y by dx square is there you can use y2 or y double dash that is for our convenience we can change the notation of the derivative derivatives or differential coefficients so now differentiate both sides with respect to x that means d by dx of x square plus y square d by dx of r square so just here y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable here variables are only x and y but r square is constant you remember one thing so if you differentiate x square we get 2x y square differentiation is very very important to y dy by dx here we should be very careful differentiation of r square is 0 because r square is constant 0 divide by 2 divide by 2 therefore x plus y dy by dx equal to 0 this is the required differential equation 
So, this is the required differential equation. Have you followed? Just carefully observe. Form the differential equation of y is equal to a 3 power x plus b e power 4 x where a comma b are arbitrary constants. So, that means in this equation we have two arbitrary constants. So, if you just eliminate these two arbitrary constants, we get a differential equation of order 2. So, that means in order to get or in order to form the differential equation, we have to differentiate it for two times and we have to eliminate both a and b. So, that we get the differential equation. So, otherwise you can apply determinant method also. So, that method in higher classes or here also we can study, but here let us eliminate a and b using here notation better instead of dy by dx you can use y 1 instead of d 2 y by dx square you can use y 2 and so that after that the final answer in terms of d 2 y by dx square and dy by dx we can write the differential equation. Okay? Let us proceed for this problem. Here given, so what is given? y equals to a e power 3 x plus b e power 4 x. Say this is better equation 1. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. If you differentiate both sides with respect to x, this y becomes dy by dx or alternative notation that is y1. So, y1 equals to e power 3x is e power 3x into 3, 3a e power 3x, e power 4x differentiation is e power 4x multiplied by 4 that is 4b e power 4x say equation 2 this is. Now, again differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, y 1 becomes y 2 equals to again e power 3 x differentiation is e power 3 x into 3 that becomes 9 a e power 3 x plus this is e power 4 x differentiation is e power 4 x into 4. So, 16 b e power 4 x say this equation 3. Now, let us do one thing from 1 and 2 eliminate uh, let us find out the values of e power 3 x and e power 4 x substitute in equation 3 so that we get the eliminant. So, that means from 1 and 2 here 1 and 2 a e power 3 x can be written as y minus b e power 4 x this is from 1. From 2 we can write from 2 we can write instead of a e power 3 x you substitute that value y 1 equals to 3 multiplied by instead of this y minus b e power 4 x. Okay? plus 4 b e power 4 x. Let it be simplified. This equals to 3 y 
माइनस थ्री बी ई पावर फोर एक्स प्लस फोर बी ई पावर फोर एक्स फोर बी ई पावर फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री बी ई पावर फोर एक्स सो दिस इक्वल्स टू थ्री वाई प्लस बी ई पावर फोर एक्स नाउ वॉट इज बी ई पावर फोर एक्स दैट इज वाई वन माइनस थ्री वाई एम आई करेक्ट अगेन ही एर कम टू दिस पॉइंट ए ई पावर थ्री एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न y माइनस ऑफ वाई वन माइनस थ्री वाई दिस इक्वल टू दिस इक्वल टू फोर वाई माइनस वाई वन सो बोथ द वैल्यूज हैव बीन एलिमिनेट एक्चुअली हेयर एवेल्युएटेड एवेल्युएटेड सो फ्रॉम थ्री लेट एस राइट फ्रॉम थ्री फ्रॉम थ्री हैविंग बीन substituted the values of a e power 3x and b e power 4x we get the eliminant so that is y2 equals to so this is replaced and this will be replaced by the respective values so that means 9 times 4y minus y1 correct plus 16 times Here b e power 4x is y1 minus 3y. Let us simplify it. That's all. So now let us simplify. So let us simplify. Here y2 equals to y2 equals to 36y. 36y. माइनस नाइन वाई वन प्लस सिक्सटीन वाई वन माइनस फोर्टी एट वाई माइनस फोर्टी एट वाई सी दिस इक्वल टू सेवन वाई वन 48 minus 36 is 12 minus 12y. Bring this side. So y2 minus 7y1 plus 12y is equal to zero. Now replace y2 by d2y by dx square. y1 by dy by dx. We get the required differential equation. So therefore, d2y by dx square. Minus seven dy by dx plus twelve y is equal to zero. This is the this is the required differential equation.